welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy, and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And today I'm sharing some unique gift ideas that are affordable and fun to make. If you're new to my channel, I'm pretty sure these will be new ideas that you haven't seen before. And if you've been following me for a while, hopefully they'll just be a quick reminder of some fun things that you can make for gifts this year. And of course, I will link all of my project tutorials in the description box so you can check that out at the end of this video. So I've been doing a lot of aluminum can projects lately, and this is more of a gift wrapping idea for some small gifts but you can remove the tops of the cans and fill them with your small items and then replace the tops using a little bit of tacky glue. I used some Aileen's stick and re-stick so that I can remove the lids and put them back on. And I did a tutorial on three different ways to remove the tops of aluminum cans. So I will link to that in the description box as well. And what's fun about this is you can do different themes. So you can use small tools and useful items you can do sort of a bath bomb, lip balm, hand lotion theme. You could fill it with some small toys. There's just a lot of different things that you can do with it. My next two items are jewelry items. And I will just briefly mention that I have done a whole lot of jewelry tutorials. That I have a whole playlist if you want to check that out. But I just thought I would highlight a couple of my favorites. So the first one is watch part pendants. And I just think they're fun because you can do a lot of different things with them. You can put photos in them to make sort of lockets. You can add different watch part pieces and make little dioramas. And in some cases, I've even used the puffed rice and sort of grains to fill them with. You just have to be a little bit careful to make sure that you can get the backs put back together once you take them apart and, re and fill them. But you can make all kinds of different designs with them and I've just had a lot of fun playing around with making different pendants using a lot of different jewelry findings and other small items to put inside the watch casings. The other item that I'm highlighting are my aluminum can beaded bracelets. So these bracelets are made from cut parts of aluminum cans and they're rolled with a bead roller and colored with alcohol ink and obviously you can make other things besides bracelets but I just think they turn out really pretty with all of the colors and they're a fun way to reuse aluminum cans. Next up I have my dragonfly Christmas tree ornaments and there are a couple different versions. My original version was made with aluminum cans and magazine paper to make the beads for the body. And I did, recently did a newer version with aluminum can beads that are similar to the beaded jewelry that I just showed you. If you're making the aluminum can beaded version, you're definitely going to want to use the bead roller. If you're just doing a paper version, you can probably use a wooden skewer to make the beads, but either version comes out really pretty and decorative and you don't necessarily have to use them just for Christmas. This next idea is a way to take some inexpensive Dollar Tree notebooks and using aluminum cans make some pretty covers for them. I did a couple of different tutorials on this. I did a tutorial on ways to add texture to aluminum cans and then a full tutorial on how to use the aluminum cans to make notebook covers. My last idea is a fun way to jazz up some old silverware. If you have a bead stash that you want to get rid of you can, and some mismatched silverware that you either have in your drawer or you found at the th thrift store, you can add some beads and buttons and make some really decorative fun silverware. And they are great additions to gifts in a cup if you like to make those. If you make your own preserves, you can just add, include a knife. If you make your own cocoa mix or other drink mixes, you can include a spoon. And if you're actually delivering like a Meals on Wheels to somebody, a fun thing to do it would be maybe to get a Dollar Tree plate add some fun silverware and a pretty napkin to deliver along with your food. 
I have one last idea for you if you're feeling just too busy to make any gifts this year. I just opened my merchandise shelf and it only has one graphic in it right now, but I think it's a pretty good one. And you can add it to lots of different merchandise. So check that out below this video. I hope you found some inspiration here today. If you haven't already, please consider becoming a subscriber. Be sure to like this video if you'd like to see more of my content and check the bell icon to select your notification preferences. Also, if you'd like more ideas on handmade items that you can make for gifts this year, click or tap your screen now to watch my best sellers video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.